Hello, this is Queen here at New World Tarot. I am here to bring you guys an energy read. Um, so if you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please go ahead and subscribe. And if you don't mind, hit the thumbs up button so the video can get pushed to the people that need to hear the message. Um, I'm just gonna do a you know an energy check for you guys. Um, also, um, a little bit of an update. I know my patrons are probably like, "What are you doing?" Um, I'm working on a segment for you all that is going to look into some of the most controversial people to ever walk the planet Earth. I'm trying to learn how to edit on my laptop, and let me tell you something. I'm frustrated. Okay, but um, I am working on that for you all. So that's coming new to Patreon. Um, I'm not really sure when or if I'm even going to be able to learn how to edit on the laptop. I might just end up having to do it um, starting off with my phone until I figure out how to edit um, properly because my kids don't really have time to show me like I need them to. And I really don't know what I'm doing, even though I'm on the Internet watching like millions of videos. I still have no clue what I'm doing, okay? So anyways, um, that's just a quick update for everyone. But in the meantime, in between time, let's see what y'all got going on. I see that a lot of people like the new series that I'm doing. Um, I don't even know really what it's called. I'm just trying to help do my part in the waking up of the black community, which is a very daunting, strenuous job. So, what is up with everybody's energy, though, spirit? What's going on with everybody? What's up with my peoples? What's going on with the weirdo gang? Tell me more. Give me four more. What is happening with the weirdo gang? What's everybody's energy like? Please. What's everybody's energy like, spirit? Give me two more. What's everyone's energy like? One more. What is everyone's energy like? Okay. So, the first card out for you guys is the Knight of Swords. We have the Moon. We have the Seven of Pentacles. Four of Swords came out in the reverse. And we have Judgment. Okay. So, from this energy that I see um, thus far happening with you guys, I just want you to know, A, it looks like there is a... Um, a message that possibly could be coming in to you guys. For some of you, this could be some sort of a feud or a disagreement that you could have with somebody. I feel like if it is a feud or a disagreement, it's a misunderstanding. Okay, there is some information that isn't quite being um, registered or... Um, or sent to another party in the proper manner. So I feel like this is miscommunication. That's what I just heard as well. I feel like there could be some sort of a... Um, a small quarrel. I don't want to necessarily say this is like a fight because I don't see like my fight card here, but I do see that there could be some sort of a misunderstanding happening. For some of you, your money could be a little bit stagnant, but I also feel like um, for some of you, you have money tied up in investments or you're thinking about where to put your money in when it comes to investing. Um, some of you could be a little bit restless or um, not really resting well at night. Um, also, um, this is this is for some of you. The reason why you're not resting really well is because you're you're having some sort of a spiritual awakening here. Okay, we have the page of pentacles that came in sideways, which is letting me know that um yeah, some of you guys could be um questioning where you put your money in some sort of investment. Um yeah, yeah, ace of pentacles came out next. So I'm feeling like for some of you, this could be an issue with um, where to invest money properly, how to save money, how to make your money grow. For some of you, you could have um, could be dipping into your savings a little bit um, because you may be dealing with some financial issues. The King of Cups came out in the reverse, right? So I feel okay. So listen. I feel like this is a combination between a misunderstanding and financial issues, okay, for a lot of you. Some of you, like I said, you're not resting well at night. Some of you could be going through some sort of a spiritual awakening. But I really, really feel like for some of you, this has something to do with your finances. This is this is more about your finances than it is about a small misunderstanding. For some of you, this could be a big misunderstanding because some of y'all don't know how to 
You don't know how to censor yourself, okay? You say what you feel and you and you mean what you say it, okay? Which is fine, but sometimes you got to be careful how you, you know, it's not what you say, it's how you say it, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like for some of you, um, you're trying to say something, but somebody could be taking what you're saying um, the wrong way, okay? Um, <laughs> and some of you ain't trying to hear no apologies either. Like somebody might be like, damn, you know, I know I cussed you out, but I didn't mean it. And you're like whatever honey okay this came in sideways the page of cups it also fell on top of the judgment card so i feel like for some of you you're being a little over judgmental okay or you you're not trying to hear somebody's apology y'all i got to learn to forgive i tell you okay with the nine of swords here yeah some of you guys are losing a lot of sleep here or not resting well at night all of these are coming in sideways we got the eight of wands um, a trouble with communication. Okay, it is definitely some trouble with in, in with communication here. Yeah. Okay, with the magician here in the upright, somebody is really trying to manifest some sort of big like money move. I just heard I don't dance now. I make money moves. Hey, I don't dance now. I make money moves. So somebody could be trying to make their money work for them as opposed to them working for their money. But whatever this miscommunication thing that's happened is really annoying to somebody right now. Somebody is pretty pissed off about this. Yeah, with the fool here in the reverse. Yeah, some of y'all some of y'all might be like oh, Scorpios or Sagittarius. Somebody here is holding a grudge. It's what's happening here. This could be somebody who may owe you money that may be trying to communicate with you. They may be telling you um, here with the eight of stores, they may be telling you that they got locked up or they had to spend some money in order for them to not get locked up. And you just ain't trying to hear it. You're like, I don't give a damn. Stop speeding then. Shit. Okay. Pay your child support. Okay. With the two of pentacles here. Yeah. This is a, this is definitely some sort of a money decision for some of you. Okay. This came in sideways. The queen of swords. Yes. Miscommunication and money. I don't need to keep pulling these cards because this is the same message. So, um, basically the way that I see it is like this. I don't think, and this is my own personal opinion. Okay. I don't think that, um, it's wise to make money decisions when you have a um person who can affect your logical way of thinking that could be affecting your actual mood so what i mean is if you know you're in, in not in the right state of mind before you go and try to handle some sort of a money situation i don't recommend you do it until you handle this situation with whoever this person is that you're having this quarrel with okay let's call it that okay of course this is tarot um so we know that this message is not going to resonate with every single person but for those of you who this message is resonating with just be careful to make sure that you're channeling your energy the proper way before you go and start messing around with money um you know contracts things you need to read things you need to pay attention to things you need to you know have like all of your spidey senses working properly. Be careful um, doing that if you know that, like, you got some shit on your mind that's got you fueling or may cause you to not really see things the proper way. Okay. I'm going to pull from my Romance Angels deck for you guys just to see what's happening with this love situation. <sighs> Excuse me. Excuse me. Um, I'm going to pull from my romance angels just to see what's happening with this love situation to see like maybe if they'll tell me who this person is and why this is affecting you the way that it is. I feel like for some of you, this is a lover or this could be someone who you used to be a lover with and you just want your damn money. Okay. Some of y'all just like, give me my money and then we can keep it moving. Like I don't, you know, yeah, true love. Yeah. For some of you, this is somebody that you have some sort of a connection with when it comes to the bang 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 that's why it's affecting you the way that it is keep an open mind your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectations now here's the thing for some of you you are having a feud with somebody 
<sighs> that's I feel like some of you still bang 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 with this person and you probably need to stop okay I feel like some of y'all need to stop dealing with this person as far as you connecting with them emotionally physically in a love situation just simply because there is a soulmate that is trying to come in for you and a lot of you are stopping this soulmate from coming in because your attitude is all jacked up because every time this person from your past that you believe to be your true love disappoints you you get all messed up in the head and then you block everybody from coming in, okay? The next card we have out is you deserve love. You are lovable. I think some of you are putting up with somebody who doesn't quite treat you right. Somebody who doesn't give you everything that you need. I feel like there is a fulfillment here, but I don't think it's... The way somebody who is in love with you would treat you. I'm not going to say there's not love in this situation, but I feel like whoever this person is that you're dealing with, that you're pretty much wasting your energy on, is not someone who is in love. I'm not going to say this person does not love you, though. I do see love here, but I feel like it's like old. Like, you know, not saying you old or they old, but it's just like you're used to it. They're used to it. So that fun, that um when you're first dating energy that holding hands when you're walking down the street that opening the door that rubbing your feet it's gotten old you know what i mean okay the next card we have on this flirt extend your lighthearted energy to others some of you really need to stop focusing on this person that you believe to be your true love waiting on them to change hoping that they're changed hoping that things will change uh oh this person has potential you really need to let go of control issues, allow the situation to unfold naturally. Some of you just really need to fall back and allow this situation to do what it's going to do. If it's over, just let it be over. Stop trying to fight for something that spirit is saying, let go. Okay, the next card we have is pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. A lot of you already know this relationship is not what's best for you. You know that already. So why are you entertaining this person? I have no clue. This could be the one came out in the reverse. You're already, you've already met the romantic partner you seek. This person is not your person. Even though in your mind you think this is true love and your heart you think it's true love. And when y'all do that bang, 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 it's true love. But it ain't. You got a soulmate here. Okay? Yes, this is your soulmate. So, and, and for some of you, this past person, you do have a soul tie. And this is the reason why you're connecting true love to this situation. But just because you have a soul tie with someone does not mean that they're your person. That's not what that means, guys. Some people tend to think that. They're like, oh, it's a soulmate. Oh, that means we're supposed to be together. That's not what that means. That doesn't mean you have a soul tie. That means that you and this person signed a contract somewhere in the invisible. Okay? I don't know where, honey. But... You all signed some sort of contract and said, hey, I'll come into your life this lifetime and teach you this. Or this person said, I'll come in this lifetime and teach you that. You know, it may be teaching you to stand up for yourself. It may be teaching you to, you know, um, self-love. It could be teaching you to calm down. It could be teaching you to, um, you know, let go when you need to let go, you know, um, cutting cords or magic whatever the situation is but whatever it is that this person came to teach you they don't taught your ass you just not walking away give your relationship a chance work on your partnership there is a new person that is trying to come into your life that you need to be spending your time working on but you too busy focused on this past person and this is i feel like the person that you're having issues with the last card is children your love life is being affected by children for some of you you have children with this person or this person has children and it feels like for some of you, the children are the excuse, uh, the excuse for um, the ill behavior that you've been receiving from this person. Bottom of the deck, we have separation. Time apart from your partner is on the horizon. Okay, so listen. I know sometimes the truth is a, is a hard pill to swallow. Everybody don't want to hear the truth. Everybody want to hear these tarot readers tell them that, oh, everybody is going to be in love and we all got a soulmate and they all going to come in and they're going to sweep you off your feet and they're going to give you everything you want and they're going to marry you and they're going to love you so much. But listen, I have to be honest, you guys. Love is a very, very difficult thing. Love is a super, uber duper difficult thing because so many people will get into relationships so they don't even know how to love themselves. They haven't healed. They don't understand the concept of love. They don't even know what love's, love looks like. And they'll get into a relationship with somebody and the people don't understand there's a honeymoon stage to love. 
You know, when you first meet this person, you first start talking, they seem so perfect. Everything seems that like you have so much in common. They're so beautiful. They smell so good. They're so honest. They don't want anything from you. They don't mind if you just want to be friends. They're, you know, everything is going perfect. And then you get in a relationship with this person, you guys either move in together or you start dating or whatever the situation is. And then the true authentic person starts to show because they get comfortable. And there's so many people that are a victim of the belief of love. A lot of people believe in love, but they don't believe in reality. And the reality of it is change is constant. People change constantly. There's nothing you can do about it. Somebody can love you today and hate you tomorrow. It's a very, very thin line between love and hate. And a lot of, that's the thing that a lot of people are not willing to accept. A person can go to bed the night before, lay up with you, do the bang, 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 make you touch the ceiling, make you grab the walls, make you ooh, ah, make you feel great. And then the next day they'll be like, I don't even like you. And I know it sounds strange because you're like, well, how can that happen? It's called change. It's constant. Everything changes around you. I don't know why people act like they're shocked when I say that. I get people that push back on that message all the time. It's like, dude, every season, everything around you change. The leaves change colors. They fall off the tree. The trees are butt naked. Everything, all the bark and everything dies on it. And then all of a sudden it comes back to life. That's the same thing with the circle of life. There's no difference. There's no difference. Okay, love operates the same way. If you want to know, if you want to understand love and you want to understand how love operates, I'm talking about the energy of love because people are in love with love, but love don't love nobody. Okay, they make songs about this shit. If you want to understand life and you want to understand love, pay attention to the seasons. Just pay attention to the seasons. They'll teach you about love and everything you need to know about it. Now you need to understand what you're paying attention to and understand what you're seeing. Okay? It's a cycle that happens. And it comes around and it goes around. It goes around and it comes around. It goes up and it comes back down. You got the beautiful weather. Then you got the weather that's not so beautiful. You got to throw on some extra clothes. You got to get yourself warm. You got to warm your vehicle up. It might be some snow on the ground. It might be rain. It might, you know what I mean? Windy. You might have tornadoes. You might have earthquakes. There's a season for everything. Okay? Love is no different. Just because you don't want to see it is no different. It don't mean it ain't. It's the same damn thing. Okay? So, that is the message that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel. I will see you all sooner than later. And don't forget, I'm working on a series for you guys on my Patreon. So, I'm coming with that. I will let you guys know when I do. Alright? I love you guys so much. Thank you. I will see you sooner than later. Mwah.